Hello everyone. So the item I'm going to show you today I've owned for approximately two years now. I don't think I've ever done a video on it, um, but it's one of my favorite bags. It's the YSL Baby Nikki bag. So the Nikki comes in a couple of different sizes and this particular one is in the baby size, which to the best of my knowledge is the smallest size available. Um, you can look it up on the website, of course, if you're interested, but the approximate measurements are 8 and 8.75 in its length approximately 7.25 in its height and then the width is approximately 2.75 and it does have um, like two pockets it has an exterior pocket right here and then the main compartment right here of course I'll open it up and show you but this is basically how the bag looks you have the front right here and mine is in a blacked out hardware and it's also in the more rare ostrich leather um, I'm not going to talk too much about ostrich because I know a lot of people don't purchase it for whatever reason. Maybe they don't know a lot about it. Um, but ostrich leather is extraordinarily light, number one. Very, very lightweight leather. It's probably one of the light lightest leathers you can buy. Um, and it's also very soft. If you are under the impression that it's a hard leather, it's absolutely not. It's an extremely soft leather. So those are just the two things I'll say about ostrich. Um, I actually own quite a few ostrich pieces and I've done videos about ostrich before. This is the back of the bag. It does have a magnetic uh, pocket back there and then the underneath. I'm sorry for the noise but that's something that we'll get into and I'll kind of explain to you. Um, the, the bag is heavily heavily um, finished. You can see right there along the edges. There's a lot of thick thick glazing on this bag. Um, but regardless of that, it's still very light in weight, at least in this particular leather. And I was kind of deciding between this and the um, Lulu bag, you know, I had the medium Lulu, which proved to be a little bit too um, large for me. And I was going to go ahead and purchase the Lulu in the size small. But then when I saw the baby Nikki, I decided to go for it instead. I just liked that it was softer and it kind of more malleable. I um, mean, it didn't look as... Um, I don't know the right word. Elegant, I guess. It looked more carefree and casual and not as like, you know, corporate and, and taking out for, you know, nice events. Not that you can't do that with this one, but it just looked more casual, this one, and appealed to me more. So you have the chain straps. Um, the chain straps on all of them will have a leather break up at the top. So you get the two pieces, you know, to provide a little bit of comfort. Um, but what I do find is that they slide around. So even though the intention is that they stay on your shoulder when you're wearing it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody, these two pieces end up sliding around quite a bit. Um, the chain itself slides around quite a bit. It is approximately 11.5 when it's doubled up on the shoulder. And if you do, if you wear it as a crossbody, it's extremely long. It goes to almost 23 inches. I think it's like 22.75 or something like that. Um, I'll insert mod shots so you can see uh, how it looks on me. Uh, the chain is very noisy. Uh, when you set it down on you know any kind of surface, it's going to make a lot of noise, and that is not something I like. I don't want to walk in the room and announce that I'm in the room. Um, you know, or come to work and set it on the desk and hear that. So that's my one um, issue with it is that I find the chains very noisy and also very slippery. They slip around a lot. They don't stay in place. The bag is shifting quite a lot. Um, but that's really it. I find it to be very casual, very carefree, bigger than your average mini size bag, even though the proportions are actually baby and mini. So it opens with um, a magnetic close and mine is exactly, you know, in case you're wondering, ostrich leather, it, it makes no difference. It's in the exact, the look, everything is the same as the others. So if you're looking at the calfskin version or a suede version or a tweed version, mine's exactly the same. It's just the leather that makes the difference and it's ostrich all the way through. So even up on this upper part right here, I don't know if you can see it, but let me see if I can tilt the camera slightly to go up. That's just the top portion of the bag and you have St. Laurent Paris, Paris written right there. Um, and this is what it looks like on the interior. So you have the main compartment right here with a slip pocket in the back, excuse me. And then you have this little outer pocket right there. So it's like a double interior opening and very spacious. Like I said, if you like mini bags, you're gonna love this bag. It'll hold all your stuff. Um, I got it about two years ago and I don't remember what I paid, but it was of course on resale. So. Um, probably much lower price than you'd pay if it was retail. 
So let me just show you what I have inside. Everything else is probably gonna make noise too, but I'm sorry about that. So I have a key fob right here in that outer pocket. I have a pair of sunglasses, which you know, reading glasses, sunglasses, they fit nicely in there. I have my Chanel O case, which doubles as a wallet. I have a little bag of uh, cough drops, candies, something like that. I have an extra face mask. And I have a mini pochette with a bit of makeup in it. So mini pochette drops in there really easily. You can see that. Um, and then in the back pocket, if I can turn it around a little noiselessly, probably not, but I'm going to try. In the back pocket, I've put my phone. And my phone is a Samsung. It's about six and a half inches, and it goes right in there. Um, it feels like it's pretty tight in there. So I'd say if you have a larger phone, you might struggle a little bit. You might have to stand it up like this. Uh, which you can do. I think it gives it a nice uh, coverage. It doesn't peek out too much. Um, and if you have six and a half or shorter, it'll definitely go in the back pocket. Uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys. I love this bag. I've had it for a while. It's not one that I've resold or got, you know, given away. It's proven to be something that has stayed in my collection for a few years now, which generally means to me that I'm going to keep it. I tend to turn my bags over quite quickly if I don't like them. Um, so the fact that I've kept this one for quite a while tells me that I do like its function and its look. Um, and because it's blacked out, I've had no chipping issues. So let me bring that up so you guys can see. Nothing has chipped or come off of that. Uh, black monogram. I've been very happy with it. How does it feel? Um, it, I don't know. It feels coated in something. Um, it doesn't feel like plastic, but it feels like it's coated in something. And you know, I'm not uh, a YSL aficionado. I, I think this is my only piece. Um, so I'm not sure what the inside is lined in, but it looks like raw leather the, or a suede, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it is not uh, leather lined. It's more of a fabric line, which contributes to a lightweight um, feeling also. The chain is really annoying. Like I said, apologies for that. The only other thing I wanted to show you, let me grab it behind me, is uh, a longer wallet. So if you have a longer wallet, and this one happens to be an ostrich as well, um, if you have a longer wallet, like, you know, Louis Vuitton Sarah wallets and that sort of thing, um, you can see sized up against the bag, it comes a little bit shorter, but let's see if it actually would fit in there. It just fits. So if you have a longer wallet, chances are it'll go in there, but depending on how thick it is, it might take up the um, complete inner compartment. But that's up to you. Um, you can probably still fit things around it as well. The only thing, uh, I, I said I was only going to say two things about ostrich, but I'm going to actually say three. Number one, it's lightweight. So if you ever see an ostrich bag and you think it's going to be heavy, it's absolutely not. The people who choose like their Birkins and their Kellys and, you know, all those expensive bags and ostrich, they've, you know, done a wonderful thing. They're not going to be breaking their back or their shoulder carrying those bags. The um, ostrich is very light. The other thing about it is that it's very soft. It lends itself really, really well to these kind of bags that are unstructured um, because the leather itself is extremely soft. It just, it feels almost like lambskin. If you're familiar with lambskin, it feels like that. And the third thing is if you want to pick up something in ostrich, if you ever see it and you're drawn to it, go for black or go for brown. Uh, sometimes you'll see it in fuchsia or in red or blue or all those, you know, fancy colors of the rainbow. But the two best colors to ever buy it in are black and uh, a shade of brown. So hopefully that's helpful for those of you that might consider it. If you have any questions about the uh, YSL baby Nikki, let me know. Hopefully it's a little bit helpful for those of you that see it on the secondary market and have an interest in it. Um, I had not watched any videos prior to purchasing it. I just kind of liked it. I love ostrich. I think that's what drew me to it. And it's hard to find um, ostrich bags in some of the companies now, the luxury houses, because they've gone away from exotic. Um, but absolutely love it. Any questions, let me know. The only thing I really dislike about this bag is the chain uh, because of its movement. But you can, if you have, um, let me see if I can put this to the side. If you have stoppers and that sort of thing, which I do, I don't have one handy right now, you can stop the chain at you know a certain point and give yourself a shorter chain if you want, um, or even bring it up and tuck it in to make it um, where you can just carry it with the top handles. So if you have... Um, little stopper things that you get like on Amazon, you can actually stop it there and even carry this as like a little handheld bag. So kind of a lot of options with the chain if you're willing to work with it. Hope it's helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, it's the YSL uh, Baby Nikki. Take care. Bye-bye.